Vinny. He has returned to what he calls his sporting home, or should that be his manor? Six Mile Bottom in Cambridgeshire. It's driven bird country that's almost as famous to shooters as Vinny is to film and footy fans. The bird shooting season is over. He's invited a dozen of his friends to try out the simulated game day run here by his old pal, Richard Clark. Brad and Guy, Messrs Pitt and Richie, couldn't make it, but plenty of his buddies could. Six Mile Bottom has a special place in Vinny's heart. Hey, Click, how many pigeons did I shoot with Guy that time over at uh, 220 or something? Was it? Rats, the rat shooting was unbelievable. Really? At night, lamping at night, shooting the rats off the top of the truck. With a 410? With 20 balls, 14, but you, you know, five yeah. shots. It just, it just move at night yeah. with the rats, and then we, and then we'd come through then and ferret it all. Oh, nice. Yeah. And foxes. Like yeah, a lot of foxes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I showed you that picture. He had, he had. Uh, I was lamping. He had 12 in 12 shots, Brilliant. and he didn't want to go for the 13th in case he missed it. <laughs> The guns are going to have thousands of clays over them today in all sorts of tricky ways, from rabbits to grouse. First a pheasant drive to warm them up. We're split into teams of two or three guns and once the whistle goes, Vinny is transported back onto the footy pitch. Yeah, George, great shot, and again, George, and again, great shot, and again, George. Oh, behind it. Lovely, and again, George, George, stop, crap. Go on, George. And again. And again, George. Yeah, I've been teaching him for 10 years. You'd think it was 10 days. Yeah, on the right, on the right. He has right. lots of encouragement and advice George. to his fellow guns. Good and then it's Vinny's go. He hasn't shot for over Five. a year, but he's on fire. Six. Oh. <laughs> oh. Seven, out of eight. Seven out of eight. Many people know of Vinny's association with field sports. His dad has had a shoot for years and, as a result, Vinny started young. I started about five years old, I suppose, a little 410. Rested it on the hide, shot a sitting pigeon at decoys. <laughs> George is still doing that. <laughs> I caught my uh, first trout at Rutland when I was about seven, flyfish. So I got into it early, yeah. It has continued down through the Jones family tree. Vinny's son, Aaron, is shooting today. The poor chap is teamed with me, and before you ask, no, he didn't play <laughs> little Chris in Lockstock. <laughs> yeah, it just goes in the family. He's been brought up with it. There's a picture at the pub there. He was about four years old when he was driving around all these. This used to be the main shoot, six mile bottom shoot, where we was coming. He's about four years old on the tractor, Aaron, driving around here. The Six Mile Bottom Shoot offers rolling countryside, not deep valleys. It's perfect for partridge and even grouse, well, the simulated kind. And I'm doing things properly, double gunning, swapping the Browning 725 for a pair of Stephen Grant's Jones Jr. loading. Richard Clark runs the days here. He has seen the corporate clients drift away and the new ones come in and now it's come full circle. Then we decided to go into the open market, have the stag do's, the hen do's, jolly up for mates. Um, and have mix and match days where we do um, two people come and then we match them up with another 12 like-minded people and then of course they come and then they, it's just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed and we just get so many people come uh, and we've probably got every Saturday now booked between now and the shooting season. Richard says we will have about four and a half thousand clays over us this morning shooting about five thousand shells with the double guns surely five thousand one hundred Next, it's the duck drive. None of it's being taken too seriously and the guys are having a great time. Now it's time to rest the shoulder, have a sharpener and a proper chat with ex-professional footballer, Hollywood actor and field sports fan, Mr Vinnie Jones. So Vinnie, tell us the real reason behind a career total of 12 red cards. I'd scored against Nottingham Forest away, got sent off afterwards. <laughs> We jumped in the car, we listened to the rest of the game in the, in the, on the radio on the way home and shot about 80 rabbits that night. We went to bugger the game, we go lamping. So we shot down the motorway and we was lamping an hour later. So this old bad boy Vinny thing, <clears throat> that was all just supplied to get you some more shooting? Not all the time, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> I used to work my red cards, put it that way. If I got a nice invite on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Worth doing. Um, what, what did all that world think of shooting and, and the world you're in now? Oh, they thought I was barking mad. Yeah. I used to come in with all the pheasants and the trout and all that for the boys. 
They used to think I was nuts. We, we used to go up to an away game. I remember we played Man United away on a Wednesday night, so we'd go up early. And then we'd have a walk around the town, you know, to stretch our legs. So all the boys are going, Hugo Boss and Armani and all that. I used to go into the local army and navy store, come out. And one day, someone reminded me that the other day, they're, they're all there, like, you know, bought a suit, bought a shirt. I, I bought a dozen decoys. <laughs> Vinny's been able to enjoy sports all over the world and is now a keen golfer. But what's his desert island sporting day? Now, I'd say, you know, my favourite probably is is either lamping, foxing, or, uh, or decoying pigeons, I think. It's probably out of everything, out of all the... Grouse shooting's great, it's probably the best, probably the best in the world, but, you know, when you're paying 200 quid a brace, it's a bit... It's a bit <laughs> Fierce. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, a 50, 60 day decoying pigeons is awesome. But here, so here is really it, isn't it? We've, you know, we've got everything here. I've got a couple of lads here that have just got into shooting, that have been clay shooting. They're, they just can't believe it, they're speechless. You know, I so, said, well, you know, if you can get onto these, you know, that's your sport in shooting. You've got the ducks, the grouse, the pheasant, the partridge, you know, and it's all simulated. But, um, you know, what I think is, you know, like at golf, you go out and you get on the range and hit a few balls. And I just said to, to Richard that, you know, to go out and have like one of these stands before you actually shoot the partridge and pheasants, you know, might be a little bit better on the pickers up. You wouldn't have so many runners. After a few snaps, we're back to it. Once Richard has moved the family herd away from any potential danger. This time I'm double gunning on rabbits. At the other end, Vinny has gone all big Chris on us, shooting from the hip and hitting them. This stand is fantastic fun and it is non-stop. No time to think, just shoot and shoot some more. I've got the black mist, brilliant. The final stand is the high pheasant. Even David has a go with the 725, and if he can hit something with it, well, it must be a good gun. He then goes on to shoot Vinny's gun with Mr. Jones loading for him. That's the dinner party conversation sorted for a few years. Once we've had our fill of shooting, it's time to fill up with a steak done just right at the Green Man. The pub is owned by Richard. It's full of Vinnie memorabilia. They go back a long way. When he left for Hollywood, he just said, click, come over, help yourself, uh, take all this. So all his memorabilia that used to be in his games room at home is now in my pub. And it's been in the pub. We've had the pub for eight years and it's just great, you know, people. Uh, and if you just look at that, which is the cabana, he's got the sign which says cabana twin with six mile bottom and I've got it cabana twin with Mulholland Drive. So yeah, we do go back a long way. Yeah. A delicious steak is a grand way to finish a grand day's fun. If you fancy a day like this at the six mile bottom shoot, top end sport and quality grub start at 150 pounds per person. This doesn't include a guest appearance from Brad or Guy, but you never know, Vinnie might be decoying pigeons on a neighboring field.